This was sent in by one of our animal story reporters in the field, dear Uncle Lair and Lil Tommy. Recently, while thumbing through a rather early edition of Life magazine, I found this rather interesting but very sad story of Mike the Headless Chicken. <laughs> After examining this story, I thought this could be ideal for animal stories. The Life magazine is the October 22nd, 1945 Ooh. edition. Mm. Here's a picture of uh, Mike the uh, headless chicken little Tommy for your <laughs> viewing pleasure. Oh. <laughs> the headline here on the story, uh, little Tommy says, headless rooster, beheaded chicken lives normally after freak decapitation by ax. Now what happened here was that Mike lost his head in the usual rooster way. Mm -hmm. This uh, woman who owned him, she was the wife of a farmer in Fruta, Colorado, which is a couple hundred miles west of Denver. Yeah. They decided to have chicken for dinner. So they took him to old Mike to the chopping block. And I suppose just about everybody has seen what a chicken does after you chop the head off. Yeah, you know, they I think flop so. around. There. If you've never seen it, you really don't want to. No. Well, they did this to Mike. Uh, old axe came down, but uh, Mike just stood there. What had happened was that although the head was gone, one ear was still there and also the base of the brain which controls the motor functions. And so he just kept on living and uh, thrived and gained weight. And for a while they had him on exhibition in Salt Lake City at 25 cents admission. <laughs> and his owners put a price tag of $10,000 on him. Yeah. Now I have some more pictures here. Oh, good. Here's one of Mike uh, walking around uh, the hen house, look at the chickens staring at him. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering, little Tommy, how, how he was able to eat. Yeah, I am. They fed him with milk and water from an eyedropper through the esophagus, which was not closed oh, yeah. over, and also they fed him small grains of corn, which I guess he had no trouble digesting. He was, even though he didn't have any head, he was able to um, roost on high perches without falling off. His sense of balance was okay. And, um, well, here's an interesting thing. He, he still had one ear. <laughs> and when it says when he heard other roosters crow, he tried. He would answer <laughs> with a few croaky gurgles. <laughs> <laughs> These hens look like they're kind of um, interested in this, you know? Look at those hands, the way they're looking at him. Yeah, well, it does say that uh, he showed no interest in breeding <laughs> at all, but, you know, how could he? You know, he couldn't see what he was doing. <clears throat> Well, that's all the time we have for Animal Stories this morning, boys and girls. Tune in again at this same time tomorrow. I wish we have got to get this show on TV that's so that we can show these, these pictures, this incredible picture of Mike the Headless Rooster. Tune in again at this same time tomorrow for more highly acclaimed, world-renowned animal stories with your charming and delightful old Uncle Air. Hey, sidekick, little Tommy. Until then, this is both of us. Him and me. Saying... Go, 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 go! <laughs> Come on! Music Radio W-A.